Good afternoon, YouTube Ice Smokers. I'm pulling one out of the playbook of uh, Cane Rod Piper. Nice guy. He just had eye surgery. Hope all went well. He said it did. And I'm doing a drive home, and I happen to be smoking a cigar. And it's a Genesis. I'm almost done, actually. Um, I was cutting the lawn at the shop. It's been a while since I did one of these drives. I can't do them anymore because I don't have a thousand subs. So we're doing an old-fashioned style recording. Picture in picture, video camera, so you see my ugly mug while we're driving. And I'm heading home after a long week. And I'll tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I've been in my own business for I don't know, 25 years now, I think. Give or take a year or so, I could be off. I have to sit down and figure it out, but it's a long time. And uh, you know, own your own business. There's some fringe benefits, but there's also a lot of uh, anguish that goes with it. You know, you always you can't shut your brain off. You know, you go home, you're always thinking about how the week went or how it didn't go or problems. And I'm in a problem business trying to fix cars and make people happy and it's very hard you know if you sell pizzas uh, people want to come and eat a pizza but uh, nobody wants to get up in the morning and have their car fixed let alone an expensive transmission so generally speaking you're not dealing with uh, happy people and it takes its toll on you and uh, you deal with people's frustrations plus your own frustrations and after a while it takes its toll on you. Uh, it's not always bad but it's not always good, you know. So I try to make the best of it, which I do most of the time, but some weeks and this was one of those weeks you just feel like you've been beat up. But anyway, I hope everybody out there is doing fine. And try this new format. I hope Kane Rod Piper doesn't take offense to it. I don't think he will. But I like his idea of the drive home videos. And we'll see what becomes of it. Uh, I can't get over that hump to get past 500 subscribers for some reason. I mean, I'm sure it's... I mean, basically, I only do the Daily Five, so I know people do like it, and I do have a following, but I understand it's not fresh content, but the way I do videos is very hard to, for me to do any other way. Uh, I, I basically I go home and go to work and go home and go to work, so I don't have many opportunities to do videos from say fishing or a park or something like that otherwise I would so I don't know what the answer is to get to the 500 uh, thousand subs so I can start doing some live again which I enjoyed I know I can do live from a laptop but I can't put a laptop in the car I mean, I can, but that doesn't help with the Wi-Fi. It's still a mobile device at that point. So, any suggestions, I would appreciate it. Um, let's see, uh, I ordered a new pipe. You can't beat it, the uh, Stanwells are on sale at Pipes and Cigars. For a filtered pipe, $39.99. Supposed to come with two stems, so I didn't see that in the picture. It's the black and white series. Uh, I may get it tomorrow. If I do, I'll show it. It's 
So, that's some of the frustrations I've been dealing with. Uh, nothing too bad, I suppose. Uh, and as they say, you got your health, you have everything, and I have been feeling better with the whole 30 diet, which I'm through the 30 days, and I'm gonna do it for another 30 days. I lost 22 pounds. Now I'm one of those unique individuals that I just, like I said, I lost 22 pounds and it really doesn't show that much because I have that wonderful gift that I gain weight all over, not just my stomach or my arms or uh, everything gains weight evenly. So most people, when I tell them my weight, they never guess it because I appear not as heavy as somewhat of a similar, similar weight. I'll give you an example. Uh, I tend to carry a lot of weight in my legs. So I've seen, I had a friend and he passed on, may he rest in peace, and he was a huge guy in the 400 pound area. And his legs were like twigs. And his legs didn't match his body. My legs should have been on his body. My legs are like tree trunks. So it's hard for me to, um, you don't see 22 pounds. It's like, where, where, what is he talking about? I mean, my damn earlobes gain weight. You know, it's, in some ways it's good, in other ways it's bad. You know, I'd rather have the twiggy legs. But you can only deal with what you got, right? So I'm gonna do another whole 30 diet for the next 30 days, which basically is a whole, it's a clean eating diet. No preservatives, uh, no sugar, no carbs, no liquor, uh, no soda of any kind, no sugar. I can have some nuts as a snack, some fruit, which I'm not a big fruit eater. But overall, I sleep better. Heartburn is completely gone. And uh, my wife made spaghetti squash last night, which is allowed. Uh, pasta is not allowed to be as a carb. And um, she made a natural, you know, tomato sauce gravy. And normally that would be, for me, like eating lava. And uh, no heartburn at all. So the sugar and the carbs definitely caused my heartburn and acid reflux and all that good stuff. I sleep better, I feel better, headaches are less. So it's a good program. You never really feel hungry. I tell you, once you cut out the carbs and sugar, you feel really uh, much better. I do miss wine. I love wine with dinner. But I want to get down to my goal weight, um, which according to the charts, which I'm not going by, uh, I'd have a lot to lose. But for myself, another 50 pounds and I'd be happy. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, and I was never really a junk food eater. I just eat too much. And uh, wine, which I didn't know till recently, any kind of alcohol stops you from losing weight for 48 to 72 hours. Because your body works overtime to try to get rid of the alcohol, because it's like a poison to your system. So in that time, you don't lose weight. So, and I didn't have just a glass of wine. I have three or four glasses of wine after dinner. But I really liked it. I, and I never got drunk or nothing. Uh, I was home, and occasionally I have a beer, which I do miss. And then I love having some brandy or scotch with a cigar or even a pipe. And I can't do it. So, it is what it is. But overall, it's better results. So, 
So basically, I drink water and f that flavored seltzer, which has zero nothing in it. Uh, but I like the bubbly, I like carbonation. So uh, I drink mostly seltzer, flavored seltzers, cherry, lemon, lime, watermelon. There's a slew of them out there. Listen, it's uh, you know, 58 years old, and it's much harder to lose weight. I mean, when you're 30, you cut back just a little bit. You cut back one item out of your uh, routine, and you drop weight like crazy. Not when you're 58. And I have a bad knee, so I really can't exercise to the extent uh, my knee really kills me if I do that. So, make the best of it, and uh, overall, I think it's a good idea. And uh, the best part is you don't you don't feel hungry, like I said. You really don't crave anything. You lose all cravings except for memory. Like in your mind, you're craving something may pop in your head. Like uh, I was a I love pizza. And from memory, you want the pizza, but to say I really want the pizza, I really don't have to stop and have a slice. It's more from remembering how it tasted that you want it, if that makes any sense. And I was never really, uh, never a candy, big candy junkie or ice cream, or years ago I was. I used to melt the haagen pints in a microwave and drink them like milkshakes. But uh, I haven't done that in probably 15 years. You know, so... And I went to solid black coffee, which I didn't think I can do, but I really enjoy it now. Matter of fact, I, uh... I'm gonna show that. It's supposed to have been here today. I, um... I got in touch with a coffee company, and I'm going to come out with my own blend of coffee. And it's called the Daily Five Coffee, Coffee with Art. And uh, I may sell it, I'm not sure. Uh, not really to make a lot of money, just to make uh, some money. And we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll, I'll show the coffee if it's good. I'll make a few pots and... Uh, you guys, if you're interested, you can buy it and uh, see how it goes. The police have been out in force all week. It's some kind of speed week, they call it here in New York. I thought that meant you could speed. <laughs> it was quite the opposite. They're enforcing the speed limit all over the place. And uh, that's what they do. So everywhere you go, there's cars, uh, police cars all over the place. See up ahead, I don't know if that's a police or a tow truck. It looks like a tow truck. Anyway guys, it's good to be back, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll do more of them. Thank you, and have a good day.